One World Media Network. In the world, for the world. In association with Red Carpet TV. Presents. We're at the Broad Theater tonight in Santa Monica, California. It's uh, the 25th anniversary of Simply Shakespeare, hosted by Rita Wilson and Tom Hanks. 25 years ago, I was in the audience for the first one of these, and it was Twelfth Night. It was at the Pasadena Playhouse with about 50 people that were in attendance, and it's grown and grown and grown. So we've been doing this event for 25 years, raising a ton of money for amazing programs like Will Power to Youth and our Vets Training Program now. It's not work. We will officially offend true aficionados of Shakespeare. <laughs> we don't care because we're not getting paid and we're only here for a day. So call the cops on us. Oh man, we've got a great group tonight. We've got Anthony Mackey, Tessa Thompson, Christina Applegate, Jason Alexander, Marty Short, Bill Shatner, Eric Idle. They have a script in their hands of Twelfth Night with a lot of great music that Bette Midler sings and that the company will sing with her and they all love Shakespeare and they bite into Shakespeare and they bring it alive in ways that are so much fun. We're doing uh, Twelfth Night and uh, it's basically all of us doing a condensed version of the play and um, it's either going to be amazing or a disaster. <laughs> It's my uh, third, fourth time joining this crazy group and uh, doing great work for uh, bringing uh, theater and specifically Shakespeare to underprivileged children and uh, engaging veterans in this and uh, 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 fantastic. Uh, Tom uh, Hanks and Rita Wilson, I don't know if you know them, they are being honored tonight for their years and years of work for this organization and it's really, I, I think it's too much. It's one honor too many. The minute they said we'd like to honor you, they should have said, okay, but what about the children? These are two titans of our uh, American cinema, so uh, they should be honored, and, and they're being honored tonight not just for that, but for being supporters of the Shakespeare Center and things like it. I should get a little nod, you know, a thank you for 25 years of yeah. doing this, but uh, it's been fun every time we've done it, so it brings a little focus to the night, which is nice. Yeah. We have some pretty amazing, groundbreaking and innovative arts employment programs that use Shakespeare to inspire people to believe in new possibilities. Over the last couple of years we've hired a hundred chronically unemployed veterans, guys who, guys, women who haven't worked for four years because of different issues that have cropped up during and after their service. And it bootstraps them and gets them back into mainstream civilian jobs. And we do the same thing with young people who live on the threshold of poverty. And although most of the kids don't really want to become actors, it's their first job. And actually the veterans program came because that job program for kids is 22 years old. And we have a lot of the kids that we work with that enlist after high school, they come back looking for jobs. So we create jobs for veterans and kind of pipeline them back. So those are the kind of things we do and I really believe that the arts and immersing people in Shakespeare's language can change lives.